Alright. The horns begin. Slimy game. So how's it going team? This is the brown man playing as some slimer. There will be some tips during this video. As I said, I do not do voiceovers when I play. So I'm gonna do some live stuff with some live tips. One is if you are getting hit by some busters using the particle thrower, you can actually go from item to item to item and that will actually decrease the damage you do so that way they are less bound to put a tether on you and try to put you into a trap so be mindful little homie also as you scare uh, civilians and get them out the building whoop, whoop, whoop. let's get out of here real quick as you scare civilians and get out the building And you actually, oh, oh, watch out! Uh, not me! No! 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 Yeah! As you scare civilians and get them out the building, you actually increase your haunt level. And if you actually are able to fully haunt a certain room, so you have different rooms here. And I love this guy. This guy is actually able to very quickly get someone to red and then have them run out when people run out it actually goes up quite fast so you can actually just find people and do that and see your haunt will go up haunt rift destroyed. and you don't have to always protect your rift too you can go for yep see he's already up here Right, it naturally haunts. So you want your haunt to also go up. No, 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 no. There we go. Off we go. All right. So I, I got the civilian flee, and we out of here. So we get some good haunts. And Slimer is not bad. You have to be level 20 in Ectoplasm to haunt this Slimer. You're going to stay in the lobby. If you fully haunt an area, then you get a nice little significant chunk boost to that building haunt. Ah, oh, damn. I'm actually gonna follow this motherfucker if I can. Get him in there, yep. Get him haunted up. Sabotage his backpack, and off we go. We have to pick this up, and we is gone. No, 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 no. You can actually pick up the rift if you can. Just to buy you some more extra time. See, there you go. Can actually run into this guy, and that'll make them a little bit more fearful. Uh, the rift in here. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. He's not. He's not attacking my rift, which is fine then. So I'm gonna go from one to another to another to another, and I'm making my way downtown. See, you can use this to chain possess. To actually get around some of these motherfuckers. Where? I thought there were four of us. What? 
And off we go. One rift remains. Don't let them destroy it. The haunting is working. What's the Keep going. Oh. Yep. So you get in there to dodge some hits. You can actually block off here. Uh, I'll leave some minions for him. Oh my god, he's not. Oh my god, this shit is. Are you here to haunt them or bring them a spot of tea? Hurry! You're close. Oh, there you go. And awesome. No, 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 out of here. Out of here. Good. And actually, places with a lot of stuff like this is actually very annoying for busters, right? So you can go from spot to spot. And we get out of here, go from place to, up to place, to place, and this shields us from damage, from to place. Oh, he canceled my ultimate, good stuff. Brilliant work, this place is delightfully cursed, just a little more. Gonna leave some minions there, and off we go. Sometimes you can leave minions. Um, you can do what you want with them, right? You can leave them next to busters, or you can leave them next to civilians to harass them. Sabotage his pack so that way when he gets up, he can't just shoot, right? So you're gonna want room is fully haunted and go up to 100% here. So you do want to be mindful. There's no more respawns. Once you reach this end, there's no more respawns, team. And your ultimate is a long-ass cooldown. I should have saved it. I should have saved it up. Look at this shit. And now we are here. Not gonna be me. And we should actually have it here. Let's get the fuck out of here. You pretty much just wanna survive this, and let's actually get him to run away. Extra points. And let's go in here real quick. So just to secure the win, we're gonna go from object to object to object to object to object. And there we go. That was a nice quick game so when the busters are attacking you you want to go into objects you can chain go into objects if your rift is under attack you can actually go up grab the rift and put it into another object you can also just drop it out and open but as you see you can actually go and ectoplast level there we go and that's what you guys can do so remember if you're going for the haunt so there's multiple ways to to win right so if the busters destroy your three rifts or if they capture you three times then those are your three respawns so each rift is basically one of your lives right so if they take your life or if they blow up a, ri a rift that's one life so you have four lives total um even if you never lose a life once the building becomes fully haunted all of your respawns are gone. So, 
if you're going for a lot of points, then you're going to want to fully haunt that building. And as you saw me do, um, you can actually down a, a buster or try to slow them up, especially with your ultimate. You can use your ultimate, try to dis disorientate them when they're attacking your rift, grab your rift, and go. Uh, just be mindful, you, you, some of your movements are limited in terms of attack options while you're holding the rift. Um, but of course, you can drop it and you can put it into the next object. And as you guys saw, that ultimate cooldown is very long. So you're going to want to just be mindful of when to use your ultimate. If they actually end up putting a tether on you, as you guys saw in this video, it'll actually break you break through your ultimate. So you want to make sure that you guys are safe and you strategically use all of your skills. Stay safe, stay hydrated, and of course, have a good one.